Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and uh, today I'm going to teach you about the tag helper. Actually, a tag helper is used where you can say um, just you want to design a new tag helper or you can say that custom tag helper. Then you can do uh, and you can follow these steps like first of all add a new directory that name is tag helpers. Now after that you have to add a new class inside it that is uh that is the just after that that the class name uh have a tag helper trailing name of your uh class that is greeting tag helper you can say that the tag helper name just after that the greeting word okay so uh also that class must be inherited with the tag helper class and that is a tag helper is actually available in microsoft uh, dot ASP.NetCore.Razor.Tag Helper. So here we have Microsoft.ASP.NetCore.Razor.Tag Helpers namespace. Now after that you have to uh, override the process method. And in the process method you got uh, two parameters. Okay. So first one is the context and the second one is the output, the tag output. And just replace the code with my code that is first element that is the html target element that is the greeting so in the razor view you can use greeting as a tag the next one is the process that is override method and inside it you can uh, say that here we have tag helper context and the second one is tag helper output so the first parameter is tag helper context and the second one is tag helper output a uh, lots of videos i will provide you on the tag helper with the different types so uh, just uh, you can say that i am i'm going to add a playlist so here we have a tag that is the simple output uh, i am going to use output dot tag name as well as content dot set content so here we have a h1 tag and hello world h1 i mean to say that here uh, that um, that tag is actually rendered on the view or uh, you can say that on the html that represent h1 tag and here we have a namespace that is the class tag helper inside it you can say inside it you can see uh, lots of properties and methods are given so you can check all these by using the um, f12 options you know uh, that is the uh, class definition and the code definition so uh, here i'm going to uh, know uh, about the tag helper so just i'm going to write it here so here we have output dot tag uh, name that is h1 and output dot content dot set content that is hello world okay so everything is fine now the next one is the class that is tag helper output so inside the tag helper output you have to set some attribute also tag name also tag mode also pre element post element content and uh, post content and the post element also you have to set it here so here we have uh, two things we are using right now that is the output dot content dot set content and output dot tag name that is h1 okay so I, I i think you know very well about this and how to use this so first of all that namespace is actually import and uh, in the view imports file where you can see that uh, in under the layouts folder under the uh, shared folder uh, view imports is there so first of all by using a keyword you can just add the namespace that is test web app dot tag helpers and after that you have to add uh, add a tag helper star dot microsoft asp net core dot mvc dot tag helper also add uh, the super assembly code that is test uh, test web app also you have to add it here and in the view razor file you have to add greeting tag uh, greeting tag so by using the greeting tag you can say that that greeting tag is actually converted into the h1 tag and content is hello world like that but must to view import the whole namespaces looking like that this time i'm going to show you in the uh, again view imports here we have it add tag helper star dot test web app that is the project or name or you can say assembly name also microsoft asp.net core.mvc.tag helper and the namespace of a specific 
tag helper class. So thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to ASP.NET Core and don't forget please subscribe my channel also press the bell icon because you want to get lot latest notification uh, on uh, bell icon.